Hey, Fitzy here, back at the game, another one. You would think it'd be quite easy. Just bolt the balance on. It'd be done. Move on to something else. Well, I'm telling you, I got in over me head here. I figured I'd bolt it on, have it done, move on. No. One didn't, didn't fit right. This didn't look right. This wasn't centered. <sighs> one thing led to another. I got a video made out of it. Stick around. Oh my, oh my. So here's where I'm to. Uh, last video, I went and basically made this valve section repaired it over 20 pieces in it you want to check it out it's the video before this one uh before i move on i gotta blow all the front off this again but i want to mount this so what i'm going to start off with this one here is i want to get this mounted i got to put some mounting points here got to get the hole drilled down here i gotta put a couple of mounting tabs down here on the roll cage so it's gonna bolt on so i'm gonna get it all set up here now i gotta mark it and mark the holes here and uh, get this ready so we can actually get it mounted because I got to trim this up Another thing I got to do right here. I got to trim it up for the ear to ear Unit that goes in there and I got to have it so that fits in there But I got to get it mounted first so that I can figure out where it's got to go So, so I got all the holes drilled in the body over there and I'm here now And I've got to make up a couple of little tabs what I got going on here. This is the bottom of the panel. Okay? Right here, and the, the roll bar comes up underneath the bottom of the car like this. This is the bottom side of it and curves down. And I want to bolt it on on both sides on the new metal. Uh, originally, it bolted on here in the middle, but it's really flimsy and it's thin there. So I want to give it some strength on the 18. So I just all I did is I got cut out these two strips here, okay? And these two strips now, I'm just going to weld them on there like so. Like that, and I'll shape them up and I'll drill a hole in them there. And then I got some 1A plate here that I'm going to weld to the cross member here, down here. I'm going to weld that on down here somewhere. Like that will come off that somehow. It will be turned upside down or whatever. It's just the flat pieces on them. It's not that. It's just a scrap piece I had. We can turn that around this way. And I'll just weld that on there somehow. Just so that the, uh, the bottom itself can actually bolt on somewhere. And I'll drill and tap this. That's all I'll do. Much the same as what I've done up here. On the uh, where the fenders neck go, and I'll use all the factory bolts. That's what I'm trying to use on this here. I'm trying to keep everything 10 millimeter, so you know you can take the whole car apart with one wrench, and uh, that's the plan. I'm here debating on this. I got these drilled out. Uh, I would like to have a plate on the back of that and drill that too, and just have it so I can put a bolt in there. The fenders are tricky because of the, of the way they are, there's three bolts, so they're going to be nuts and bolts. Uh, she takes three bolts, I'm just going to put two in for now. I got to pick up some uh, bolts for this, so and I'll get that bolted on there and bolted on there. I got to get all this done and fitted, so then I can I know exactly where she's got to be when I uh, fits the intercooler in there, so I can trim it all up. So let's get these cut out and figured out. I'll just cut out two square large plates first to start off with, and I'll get these here positioned, uh, cleaned up and ready to go, so I can weld them on, and that way I can just drill them out. So I went ahead and made a little bracket, trimmed it all up, got it fitting around the pipe. This is like so it's underneath the car. It'll actually fit around the pipe and I can weld it to it. It's on the curvature of the pipe anyway. And I got the tab here. And like I never bothered doing that with this yet because I'm going to end up chasing this out and shaping it around. What I did is I, I went down and positioned them on the car. And when I positioned them on the car, I noticed that the pipe comes straight across. But this here come on a bit of an angle like this. This is what I come up with. Okay. This is what I went and did. All I did then is I drilled it. Uh, drilled through it at one eight bit. And then I uh, drill it through with a larger bit, which is basically all is the end of that. That fits it perfect for the die, for that die that I used on that, for that metric 10 bolt, whatever it is. Uh, and then I just tap it out, and then I just bolt it together. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fit this up underneath the bottom of the car, and then I'll uh, tack weld this onto the, the roll cage, and I'll, uh, the cross member, sorry, and then I'll turn around and I'll tack weld this to the bottom of the, um, the front valance. That way I can uh, have it all positioned just so, and that way I'll just take it off and I'll weld it and I'll dress this up, make this look pretty, and then I'll weld this on, dress this up, make this look pretty, right? So that's all I'm doing for little two little tabs on the bottom. Of it. I want to put the tabs on it because look, I have it all bolted on there now. Um, problem with this, there's nothing 
mounting across there on the bottom of that. And you notice this is all going to vibrate and everything across the bottom side of the car. So a tab there and a tab there on the bottom side of the car that bolts up through. And that'll hold all that solid. And that'll be all mounted. And then I can get ready and start fitting it up now. So figure out what i got to cut out of here. Just guesstimating at this. Get over here. I'm going to get a drill bit in there. Like so. Just random find a decent spot where things. Yeah looks good and drill it as simple as that Drill that up a few sizes now. This is the type of stuff that you just like, oh, have I got to be at this, right? I want to do something big again, but I'm just trying to finish everything off as I'm going. Because when I blow this apart, um, I just want to be able to paint everything and be able to put it back together and know that everything is fitting. And this is just all tedious stuff, but uh, it's just one of those things that you got to uh, you got to be able to go through with some oil. For every one big job that he does on a car, there's ten small ones to finish it off. And you just gotta be patient with it. I don't want to rush this car, and uh, I'm to the point with it now where I'm enjoying it, having fun building the car. I'd love to be able to get it out to here, but the way it's looking now, I don't think so. I got too much work here to do, and the detail that I'm trying to do with this thing. I'm uh, having a lot of fun building all the bits and pieces to do it. I'll just tap this out now, and then this one here will be ready to go. And then I can fit them on the, the bottom of the car there, tack weld them on, and I'll haul the rads port off, I'll mark it and everything, and I'll weld it up when it takes it off, because I'm going to take a few measurements there now and mark the, um, the front valance so that the intercooler will clear. I'll get myself a round number spot. So. Anyway, I'm going to get this all bolted together and get this tack welded on the car.
So there's the tab. You can see now I've got a bit of a gap here now. I just pulled out on a small bit and I welded that onto that. And this bracket is welded onto the part bar. When I take this apart now, I'll weld all this up and then dress the edge on this here. And I'll do the same one in there. Make two of them look nice. All right, I got the other one done the same way too, over there. So there's a bit of a gap now you can see between the the bar because this was actually touching here when this here this was actually touching the bar so i gotta pull out a small bit and it's uh, nice and solid there now all right it's not gonna move there now but you notice i had to i got the grill laid in there and i put the rubber mat across the front of her that goes that tucks underneath the bumper and the bumper comes back over that but there's about all you see so <laughs> going across there and the biggest thing is making sure them corners are right I had to tweak it a bit because all this here was up and down. It wasn't even with the grill. And I had to pull up on it a few spots and tweak it. It was no big deal. You'll never notice that going 100 miles an hour. But um, now that I got this figured out, what I got to do now is I got to figure out where I got to trim this off in here. You can see, it's hard to see any of it there. But um, I got to see where that intercooler fits on and uh, where it's going to touch to. And see how much of it I'm going to have to cut out. So I've after drawn some reference lines, I lined up this here with the edge of the pipe and drew a straight line out here and drew a straight line out here and then I drew a straight line across the front here just to give me a reference line I may have to come out here and I took measurements from here out to here in certain locations so I got a reference that when I take it off this here is from here to here is four inches so if I measure it off and only needs three and a half inches or something like that, I can come back here a half inch and I'll know that I gotta cut this up here. And I also know that because this is here, I know this will be my reference here. So I got to take this off now and bolt the intercooler on and uh, see how much of it I'm gonna have to cut out. There's the little tabs, one on that side, one on that side. I welded these up inside and out, and then I just shaped them a bit to give them a bit of a uh, shape to them, so it just looked like a squared off piece the way it was. So I'm happy with that there now, that's all ready to fit on. So now I can go ahead and start modifying this for the intercooler. I'm here now, bolting the uh, intercooler in, and I'm telling you, I got to have OCD. I had this bolted in the car and I started noticing when I started the, that this side here was over this way too much and this side was this way. So I said to myself, like, what's going on here? So I ended up flipping it around, okay, and bolting it on. Now, I've always mounted this in the car, never had no issues with it. I kept bolting it in the same way. But now when I flipped it around in the car, the upper mount don't even come handy. So I've always put this in the same way, and what I've come to learn is that there are four mounting points on that uh, Chinese um, intercooler are not centered. So in other words, like the distance here is not centered from the outside to outside. So strangely enough. Anyway, the problem I've got here now is that I bolt it on, it moves it over this way, I bolt it on the other way, it moves it over this way. But what it is, it's only about a quarter of an inch, okay? But I want it over here. I want this to be a little bit more room over here. I got some other issues going on here too now I'm noticing. I got to size up. I got to get the rubber. It seems like this here is too high. I got to bring this up a bit more. It's crazy. All the modifications I got to do to everything. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, what I'm worried about is just getting this centered. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this back around again. And I'm just going to oblong these holes on the top and on the bottom so I'm going to slide it over a bit. I only got to slide it over a quarter of an inch. I'm going to make these uh, points that I got this bolt to, I'm going to make them adjustable so I can slide them side to side to fix that problem. So I'm going to go ahead and drill them out. All I'm going to do, I'm going to make a big one. I'm just going to drill another hole next to it. And then just going to slot the two of them out, give myself a bit of room. Then I can move it over. Same with that side and same with the bottom ones. And then when I get that done, I'll get that all centered where I'm happy with it. 
and then we'll move on to getting everything else fitting. Sometimes this stuff just wants to fight you. I figured simple, get this all fitted in or everything will be fine. I haven't had this in it now since I had the front on the car and I guesstimated at these cutouts, okay? Now the problem I got is this is a grill mount here, okay? The grill mount's there. This pipe is here and as you can see I marked it and that's the height of it there now. That's as if it was, if that came straight out dead touch there. So like you're going right through the middle of that there. So I'm here looking at it. I got it all moved over, and I'm happy where it was too, but the problem I got is now I haven't got no clearances on the sides here, because when you look straight in through here, you can see that, that an elbow coming off of here is going to rub. So the more I look at it here now is that I'm going to have to take that out of it, and I'm going to have to change these. I'm going to have to lower it down. I'm going to have to lower it, see if I can lower it down an inch. I can lower it down to the, uh, to the bottom of this here touches. Or pretty close to it right here so it's about three quarters of an inch there and all i'll do is i'll just cut this on an angle and lower this section down here a bit just so i can uh i'll figure something out for it trying to make it look presentable looking trying to find a way and then i'm just going to cut these upper brackets off and make new ones for the top and lower them down i can actually put a shim in there if i want but i think that'll look ungodly put a shim in there with a longer bolt i'll just cut the bracket off and put new ones on it this is all a part of it. This is all a part of it. I got to, uh, I got to do this now because if I don't do it now, it's going to be a headache down later on. I'm trying to finish fitting everything onto this car, and this is the stuff you run into when you start adding pieces to the car. So, uh, like, this is worm too. So I'm going to take this out now and figure out something. Cut this up, remove that, lower it down. And cut them brackets off. I gotta haul the whole front off the car now to in order to get this straight away because I gotta get in behind this here to cut them brackets off. And uh, we'll just uh, sit down and get this straight away. I'm just gonna bang this out because I'm trying to move forward on this car and it seems like every little obstacle now is, uh, is giving me a bit of trouble on it. And I don't want to get discouraged from this car. I want to move forward with it. So I want to get this done. Right here, uh, it's still, it's clearing, but I, th I think that I can just split this across here and split this across here and remove that little pie shaped piece out of there, tap that up and weld it up and that'll give me that much more clearance. Uh, right now it's close, but this seems to be on a bit of an angle to me, it's not straight. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim that up and I can see the distance from here to here and the distance from here to here. This side here seems less. So I'm going to even them up and uh, take this much out of here so that distance closes up. So I'll go get that cut and split now and get that all welded up. So I got the adjustments made on the rad support, plus I also got these done. You can see them. All I did is I split them and bent them, and then welded them up again and grind them out and dressed them. I lowered it about uh, three quarters of an inch. It's just clearing here now on the top for the tanks, and I ended up cutting the top brackets off here, so I can actually now I got to make new brackets. So I just wanted to show you these here. So all I did with them, you can see now they got a nice little flow to them, and uh, this still looks good. Uh, that was a bit discouraging having to go through this, but I will tell you with any project, especially when you're custom making everything, you're going to run into this stuff, okay? You're going to see stuff, and now's the time to uh, adjust them before you go any further. Like, I want to move, up, move on in this car and get other stuff done, but all these little details here, because when I blow the front off of this car, I'm just hoping that I haven't got to put it back on the car again until it comes time to go paint, doing paint work on it. 
and you know making sure all this stuff will fit it's nothing worse than having everything painted and then bolting parts together and then realize that you got to cut the painted work up in order to make stuff work and oh i'm telling you it's, it can get frustrating but this is all a part of it you just got to grin and bear it and uh, get at it so i'm going to go ahead now get the uh, intercooler bolted up again and start making these two upper brackets so there it is all bolted on i got the red support put back on again and i got lots of clearance there now clearing up there so i'm happy with that i got that fitting around there now you can see that now i got the brackets cut off so i'm going to turn around now and uh going to make up two little brackets for there then i can just turn around and uh, rig something up so let's go find some scrap now to make some brackets out of it looks like bracket material there i think i got two of them well i need one have a look at that now i should be able to get two out of that if not yes i should mm. anyway got another one there I'm going to make something out of that now. Just cut out two little L-shaped brackets out of that. And then I'll start trimming them up to fit. There's the old scrap piece steel. All it does is I cut a little L-shaped bracket out of it like that. That's it. What I'll do now is I'll take that there now and I'll trim that up. I'll drill a hole in it. I'll cut this on the angle, test fit it. Cut it on the angle, test fit it. And I'll get that ready now to get that installed. There's a little bracket all made, just laid in place there now, clamped down. I drilled a hole in it, I got it rounded out on the top edge like before. I'm just going to weld it along the pipe there, like it's been done before. It's just that it's in underneath it a bit more. And what I did this time, I found a very hard bolt this in place because it was really tight between the two of these here. I took a, a, a sheet of 18 gauge metal, I drilled a hole in it, and I bolted it down. So this is like a shim. So I'll just use this here now, just so it'll uh, give it a bit of room. So when I weld this up, and everything is solid that uh, this here now won't be as tight as what it always is this will give it a little bit of leeway so i can put it in and out of there so i can tighten it all up so that's the extent of that there now so i'm gonna go ahead now get that welded up and get the other one made and get two of them welded on Well, I'm back to normal again. I'm back to where I was probably an hour and a half ago. <laughs> Sometimes you run into this and it's like, oh, you might as well just go ahead and fix it, okay? Now I'm happy. Over here is fitting nice. This is dropped down here. I got the brackets made up here. I got it all bolted on. It's centered in the uh, center of the car now, so... Now that I got this mounted, now I can go ahead, I got to bolt fenders back on it again and get that front balance figured out. So now let's see if we can get that finished. I sized everything up and this distance that I got here now, going back here, is just a straight line going straight across. All I'm going to do is I got marked it over small, but I'm just going to go ahead and blindly just cut that out of my way. Because it seems like to me this is the distance that I need. I don't even need that much because I want to take this lip here that you see that I got done here. And I'm going to have that continue on. I'm going to bend this up along here. But i got to cut the old one everything out of the way first. So I'll just get this cut out and then uh, do a test fit. So I got it trimmed off. And I've done a quick test fit on it. I'm pretty pleased with it. What I got done then is I brought it over here on the I-beam. You can see. My four old bench is a mess. Look. Oh, my God. But I brought it over on the I-beam. And I brought it back so it was flush to it. And I grinded it off like I would everything. And made it nice and straight using the I-beam. Now I slid it ahead as a little lifter. 
I got a clamp down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap that down around the edge of that. So it ends up with this lip again, okay? And then I'll do this here by hand at the corners, right? But I'm going to tap that down around that there now. So I got a nice dress lip all the way around. And there you have it. Nice little roll lip going up over, coming across. Rolling down, going underneath it. All I did with that is to sharpen up. I used a dolly here in the corners. On the very corners, I just used a dolly. And just put that like that and tapped it in there. And to get a nice round corner, I just used this here. Laid that in the corner and tapped it with a hammer. So I get the rolled edge in the corner. Then I just took the grinder and then grinded it all flat. So then you're left with a nice little lip all the way around. So it looks kind of like it would have been if it was factory. Eh? I'm going to go over now and test fit that. See what it's like. What I don't go through is try to get a bit of detail. <laughs> you back it up there. Like, all this here, modifications and everything, I was at all that. This is all I was out to do. No? I figured I'd bolt that on and fit that on. Oh, no, it turned into a nightmare. So, you know, I got a half a day, three quarters of a day wasted. Just, I wouldn't say it's wasted. I got a lot accomplished in this. It's just that uh, you were going backwards again, right? You're going to run into this, but, you know, it's all you can do. I'm trying to make some good content for you guys, and I'm just fine-tuning everything. And, you know, that's all I can do, right? I'm trying to get this car done, what I'm trying to do at once. And if I come across something, i got to redo it again. And that's it. I'm just taking you guys along, showing you the trials and tribulations. It's not as easy as uh, one week of uh, bolted out the door and your biggest problem is deadlines that you got to get it done a week because I can tell you that's not the case, right? A lot of this stuff gets overlooked. Little details like that makes all the difference in the world. I'm going to put the grill in it now, see what it all looks like with the grill in it. See? Perfect. You See, you would have seen that the air exchange was off center and this was a bit crooked. That wasn't level there and that wasn't straight there. Like, it's all covered up, Tony. What are you at? <laughs> Pleased with that? Look at the clearance on the grill. Down through there. Not much there. I had to grind off a few little knobs on the bottom down here, but that was fine. Same one over here. And that's where the grill sits. In the car. So that is completed. Pretty sure now I want to say this is completed. All the modifications have been done to it. They got to be done. Right. Only thing left to do with this front now is a bumper. I'm not getting into that right now. I'll make that fit. I won't be going crack modifying that, but that's the extent of that. There was a lot on the go here. I've been trying to get some stuff done on this car, and it's all small things. I've been just taking you guys along, getting some stuff done. I think this is going to be a short one because uh, I need to get away from this for a few days. And uh, I've been at this nightmare. <laughs> so I've been trying piddling and poking at this, trying to get some content out. Uh, just busy here. So this is all I can afford to, to give you this week. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. I hope the tips were good. And until next time. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, hit like and share. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit subscribe down at the bottom of the page. If you want to donate to the channel, down below there's a button, Super Thanks button. If you want to pick on that, it'll take you through the motions or make a donation to the channel. We'd greatly appreciate it. We also got merchandise. Pop over to fitziesfabrications.com and check out our merchandise. We have hoodies, sweaters, t-shirts, and stickers. Lots to choose from. Thanks for watching.